Hi, I'm Jason from Wired to Fish, and I want to talk to you today about the new product from Lawrence Spotlight Scan. Um, essentially what it is is an HDI transducer that also has a module in it um, that reads a sensor that's attached to the underside of your foot pedal of your power mount trolling motor. And as you lower and raise that foot pedal to turn the head left and right on your bow mount trolling motor, that sensor arm sends a signal back to your unit through your NEMA backbone and you're able to scan just like side scan or down scan, but you're able to scan ahead of you. So you can pan your head back and forth. Maybe you want to find cover ahead of you or maybe you're actually trying to sit on a group of fish and you want to sit off of them and cast to them and make sure your, your, your casts are lining up exactly where those fish are. The install is fairly straightforward. You basically install a transducer to your bow mount trolling motor head. Um, standard install, this is a HDI transducer. It can do down scan, but it also has the spotlight module built into it. Um, so you install the transducer on your head of your trolling motor. You run your cable up your trolling motor shaft, just like you would plug it in the back of your unit, um, just like you would with any transducer. And then once you've done that, you've got a sensor that attaches to the underside of the trolling motor pedal. So as that pedal goes up and down to move the head left and right, that sensor arm moves up and down with it. Um, basically, it adhesives back to the backside, underside of that trolling motor pedal, depending on which trolling motor motor guide or Minn Kota that you run, there's different uh, attachments to get that attached correctly. But once you've done that, um, that sensor cable is connected to your NEMA backbone, so you do definitely have to have a NEMA backbone to use this product. Um, but outside of that, that's, that this, the install took me about 15 minutes. All right, so once I get on the water, what I want to do, I want to go into my screen here, and I want to go into, I'm gonna hit my pages button, I'm gonna hit settings, devices, and then under device, I'm gonna scroll down to the SLS 100, that Spotlight Scan 100 module. I'm gonna click that. Then from here, I wanna choose either Minn Kota or Motor Guide, whichever my pedal is, and then I wanna click the Calibrate button. That's gonna kind of set it up for the trolling motor that you're using. Once I've done that, I want to go back out and I want to put my head in the water, pointed straight, and then look at my spotlight scan. Okay, once I've got my spotlight scan screen up, I want to sync how that arrow on my trolling motor head is pointed with how the spotlight scan is reading. And you'll notice here we have an option here where you can go in and set your offset. Um, and so basically, I, I did this visually. I, uh, I pointed my head forward, made sure my trolling motor head was forward in the water, and then set that offset here until my scanning area was exactly straight forward, even with my head. Once I've done that, then I want to pan back and forth a couple times and make sure it's staying consistent with my head. That way I know if I scan left with my head, I'm pointing left with my spotlight scan. So um, that'll help you uh, for use on the water. I've been using the product for a couple months. Um, it does take some getting used to, um, but I, what I found is I, you've got to go a certain speed to make the trolling motor head and the spotlight scan paint a good picture. Uh, too fast and your lines are going to be streaked and it's going to be hard to read what you're looking at in front of you. Too slow and you might get some jittery if the boat's moving and the depth is changing, you'll notice that the that the circle is kind of, it's got, you know, blocky, kind of a blockiness to it where the depth has been changing. Um, but what I'm using it for, uh, essentially what I'm using it for is I do look ahead a little bit for fish. And, and, and what I do is I pan left and right um, with my head to about, let's say, you know, maybe nine o'clock to three o'clock, 10 o'clock to two o'clock. I'm not trying to draw a whole circle around me. I don't fish that way, you know. I don't drive my boat along and look and try to see what's behind me to cast at. I I'm looking for what's in my, my peripheral. So I wanna see, you know, that 10 o'clock to two o'clock, is there something in front of me that might be holding the bass, you know, or another game fish, you know? Is it a brush pile? Is there a stump? Is there a group of bait fish over there maybe? Is there a rocky hard bottom coming up that I don't know is there yet? That's what I'm using it for. And, and I think it makes it a lot easier to use the unit, but I think people get stumped by trying to spin the unit around in a circle. Um, you know, what I'm gonna do with it is I'm, I'm gonna pan just left and right real quick. Is there something in front of me to cast at? Nope, okay, you know, I'm gonna make my next cast. Ease up the bank a little further. I'm gonna make a little quick sweep. Is there something in front of me? 
Okay, so there's a stump right there. I'm gonna line it up, make my cast, and try to bring my bait right by that stump. So that's what I found, and, and, and I'm not so much worried about it painting a beautiful, great picture. I wanna make just a quick little, you know, steady sweep in that 10 to two area and see if something shows up in front of me. Is it a fish, is it a piece of cover, like I said, you know? I'm looking for targets, whether that's fish or something that would hold a fish. So again, Lorant Spotlight Scan, very handy tool for anglers to be able to see what's ahead of you in the water.